Today, a very special guest is joining me. He is a trailblazer, Rolando Cantu, the first Mexican player from the Mexican Collegiate to be selected professionally to play for the NFL. Rolando, how are you today? I'm good, un gusto, la verdad. Bienvenidos, welcome to Fox Deportes. Eh, I'm doing great. Thursday night football is in full Thursday swing. Uh, Adrián García Márquez, uh, my, my partner on the air, our play-by-play -play here at Fox Deportes, and myself are getting ready to, to call the remainder of the schedule and obviously looking forward to the Super Bowl 54 in Miami. So you played for the Cardinals, I did. right? And back in 2005 to 2006. Yes. For you now being the chief NFL sportscaster for Fox Deportes, do you get nostalgic? I do. Sometimes uh, when I'm on the pregame on the sideline with my partners, uh, you know, you get that adrenaline rush. Todavía sientes el ambiente, ¿no? De, de, de poder estar ahí. El calor. El calor, yeah. sí, claro. O sea, it, it's the, the smell of the grass. It's the, <laughs> the warm-ups. Yeah. It's, it's, it's everything that kind of the sweat takes me back to yeah. when I used to play. But um, I think I'm, I'm over it. Now I, I like the broadcast booth. I like the the, the way we, we do things here at Fox Deportes and, and obviously having a, a good season. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I started uh, playing in Tec de Monterrey, in mm -hmm. Campos Monterrey, and Mexico. Uh, I took a football scholarship after playing uh, 5A in Texas in high mm -hmm. school. So I um, grew up on both sides of the border mm -hmm. um, and, and really, are, you know, enjoy American football. And then you I went to Tampa. You were with Berlin Thunder. Yes. The 2000 World Cup. You met Tim Bidwell. Yes. And the rest is history. You yes. were officially signed for the Cardinals. The Bidwell family um, uh, were, were scouting. Mm -hmm. uh, they were on a world tour for first stadium design and stuff so they actually went to the World Bowl that year Mr. B uh, God rest his soul was was one of the um, the first ones to to shake my hand out in uh, Dusseldorf Germany and um, president uh, chairman Michael Bidwell and also uh, Tim so the whole Bidwell family was there on the island I shook their hand and and kind of met them there for the first time Dennis Green he who had just been signed by the team as a head coach had just come from the Vikings and and uh, sure enough, I, I mean, the day after, I, I realized that I had a, a guaranteed squad, a guaranteed uh, practice squad contract with, mm -hmm. with the Cardinals. So that's what started my NFL career. And I know that it took a while for you to be officially on the roster. Yes. Given the fact that you were Mexican. But what did it feel like when it was New Year's 2006 and you were in Indianapolis having your first game for the NFL? Did you take the time to smell the roses or, or were you preoccupied with, with maybe? They were trying to activate me that year a couple yeah. of times and, and I was inactive for a couple of, of games. But um, when the, the, the call came in and said, hey, you're up this week, it was, for me, it was just focusing. Focus I, I mean, I, I want to make sure I, I do my job, right? So, uh, yeah, there was a New Year's where, you know, we had a New Year's Eve dinner with the team, but there wasn't, your deals weren't there, you know, your family members weren't there. You had a your, newborn Yes, at the time. my newborn wasn't yeah. with me. So it's it's sacrifices that a lot of uh, professional NFL guys do. Most mm -hmm. people saying, hey, you guys are great, you know, you have a short season, but hey, you, you pretty much miss Christmas and you miss New Year's. And in our culture, oh, in the Latino we're culture, huge about oh, about so yeah, it was it was it was really fun. Got to debut against uh, Payne Manning and the Colts, and oh, that's where that's we awesome. made history. First Mexican non-kicker to come out of the Mexican College League. So um, I'm very honored to have that and and to build off of that because I was one of the first ones after me. I had a couple college teammates that that also r rode into the NFL with practice squads throughout the league. So. Um, I still keep in contact with, with most of them. And I'm looking for the next Rolando Cantu out of Mexico. I think uh, Monterrey Tech has has a couple of tackles that we have our eyes on. And you've set up some camps in yes. Mexico to scout for more Mexican players because that's what we need. We need more Latinos yes. in the NFL. I have a, I have a free kids camp. It's, been, it's 15 years strong now uh, in, in Monterrey, and I've done it in uh, multiple places uh, throughout the, the Mexico. Uh, it's really fun. It's one of my passions that I have in the offseason, and, and obviously through uh, the Arizona Cardinals, which I'm still employed by, we do a lot of grassroots um, throughout the, the whole the whole country. Yeah, you're the manager for International yes. Business Ventures. Yes, so uh, we have uh, 41 radio affiliates. We're the largest Spanish uh, radio team in the NFL, and, and I have my partner as well over there, Gabriel Trujillo and myself, and mm -hmm. we've been doing it for a while, so it's, it's really fun. I still work for the team that gave me a shot as a player. I'm very mm -hmm. fortunate for that. And uh, so I get to travel with the team. I, you, the first question you ask me, do you miss it? I guess if I wasn't so close to my NFL team, the one that I played for, I think I would miss it more.
Yeah, but you don't miss the injury, especially being an offensive oh, no. guard. You're if ramming you know, if, into if people. If you notice, it's I just like popped my so knee like four times <laughs> <laughs> sitting in this director's chair. It's a good um, reminder of it is, the nice it is. career that you had, and you um, still have. It, it, it's one of those things. It goes with the career, it you does. know. It, and 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 I would sign up again if if I knew I was gonna get beat up. But it's it's just the adrenaline rush. That adrenaline rush that I got when I was a player. I mean, I've gotten married. I've had kids. Uh, I've had special moments in my life, but. That adrenaline has not come back, and there's nothing else that's going to replace it. It's it's a certain feeling that you get, and you just get it when kickoff starts. So, so now coming up for Super Bowl 2020, who do you think is going to be in the field? Well, I I, I, I want to say I want to give you two teams uh, in the AFC and also in the National Conference League. I think in the American League, uh, in the American Conference, uh, the AFC. I think um, the Baltimore Ravens and uh, the, the New England Patriots are teams that are going to be there. Uh, in, the, in the NFC, I think uh, the Saints, I like the Saints, mm -hmm. and I like the, the Minnesota Vikings also. The Vikings? Uh, I think um, they've, been, they've been stepping up lately, so for the most part, I think this is going to be a really interesting Super Bowl, which Fox Supporters has on our, on our screen, so it's going to be a really fun call. Okay.